Hi, welcome to At Home. I'm Kevin Barthel. Today, I have a fun, quick, easy recycling project to share with you. I'm going to show you how to make your own garden decorations using old dishes and silverware. Some of my supplies I collected at garage sales and resale shops, but the majority of this stuff came from Green Elements Resale Shop at 6241 North Broadway here in Chicago. But now that I've collected all this stuff, I just need to figure out how to put it all together. When putting things together, think of what interesting shapes or matching color combos you can create. This is the plate combination I've come up with. Now, if I had a large decorative plate like the front plate, I might use it by itself but I like this combination of the two together. So the first thing I need to do is drill through them. And I have an 8 30 seconds of an inch drill bit. It's a glass and tile drill bit, and I'm gonna use that to drill through each of these plates. Now to do that, you wanna put some water into the plate because it helps keep the drill bit cool. And I'm going to pick the center of the plate and start drilling. Just be patient. Don't push too hard or you could crack the plate. And even then there's no guarantee you're still not going to break it. But hopefully you've collected enough stuff that you don't have to rely on just this one plate. Now that I have the holes in my plates drilled, hello, I see you. I need to pound flat all the silverware, which are going to make up the leaves for our garden plate flower. Now that the silverware is pounded flat as a pancake, the next step is to drill a hole through the handles and that will help us attach them to the stem of our garden flower. And when you're doing this, make sure you're using a metal drill bit. It'll make life a lot easier. Now because I don't want to poke anybody's eye out in the garden, I'm going to curl the ends of the tines over on the fork. For the stem of my garden flower, I'm going to use a wooden dowel. Now you could use the natural color or you could stain it. You could also use PVC pipe, you could use copper tubing, you could use electrical conduit, whichever pipe you want to use. 
but I'm going to use the wood. And the first thing I need to do is drill a hole through my pole to attach the plate to. And to do this, I want to pick a spot on the back of my plate where the top of the dowel is going to be resting on both edges of the plate. So that looks pretty good. Mark it. And then we're going to drill a hole straight through this pole. And to attach my plates to the pole, I'm going to use a bolt and a rubber washer, which you can find in the plumbing department at your hardware store. And what the rubber washer does is just protect the plate against the metal of the bolt. And I feed it through both plates and line it up with my hole there. I'm going to use the drill to drive the bolt through. So that's nice and tight. I'm going to put a nut on the back. And we'll tighten that with the pliers. And there's the flower of your plate decoration. My next step is to drill some pilot holes for my leaves to attach them to the center pole. So I'm just going to place this on here where I want it. I'm not drilling all the way through because I'm putting these itty bitty screws in there. Now I'll screw my leaf on using these screws. I'm going to do the same thing with the other two. Now that they're attached, I'm going to take them and put them then. I'm going to reattach that. And there are the leaves on my flower. As I said, a quick and easy recycling project that will enhance your garden, whether it be in the ground or in a pot. Each garden flower is as unique as Mother Nature can create. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time at home. Come on, animal, let's go, come on, come on, come here. Oh, you don't listen. If you have any suggestions, comments, project ideas, or even photos of your own projects you'd like to share, please feel free to visit the At Home Facebook page. 
I'd love to hear from you.